I've been looking everywhere for these. Look at these flamingos that I found at Dollar Tree. I have something really fun planned with these. I can't wait to show you what I'm gonna make. And this is an 18 inch straw wreath. Um, these come wrapped in plastic and you do not wanna take the plastic off. And I picked up some of these um, artificial lays at Dollar Tree when I was there picking out my um, flamingos. And I'm going to use these floral pins and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these. Don't You don't want to cut these apart because they'll just kind of fall apart on you. And they just have these little straws in between them. And I'm just going to take these and I'm going to start around the edge. And I'm going to just pin them right to our straw wreath. So we're just going to take this, again, several places along. And don't try and stick it through the petals. That will be harder to get it in. Just stick it over top of them. And see, it only took like um, four places. One on each end and two um, in the middle. And we're going to just keep doing that. I wasn't sure how many of these it I would need, but so I picked up plenty. I'm having lots of summer parties, so... I'm not worried. I figured I would use the extras if I had extra. Now, that's a really pretty wreath already, isn't it? I thought the colors were a little flat on these Dollar Tree flamingos, so um, I picked up some acrylic paint. This is um, tickled pink, and I am just going to add some, a light coat of paint to my flamingo just to give it a little bit of texture to it i don't want to load it up too heavy i'm not going to get it down in the crevices and i'm happy with that amount of paint on my flamingo but i didn't really care for the yellow i like um and some penguins have it Penguins. Some flamingos evidently have all black beaks, and I just thought it would stand out better against the pink, so I am painting um, my beaks all black on both of my flamingos. Okay, so now we have our wreath with the lays on it from the Dollar Tree, and my freshly painted Dollar Tree flamingos. Then you will find that each of your Flamingos comes with two of these wire uh, legs, if you will. And what I've done is I just take these um, wires uh, and you want to have a really strong pair of wire cutters. You might have to work it a little bit, but you will be able to cut them in half. And you're going to put a wire in one of the holes, not too far, just like that and you want to put a healthy helping of glue all around the bottom. And this is still waddling around, so I'm gonna to have to keep going with this until it will hold still and won't slide up into the flamingo. When the glue has dried on your wire, you're going to take the wire and don't push on your flamingo. Hold on to your wire. Dig down inside the petals of the lays until you find an exposed piece of the plastic or the straw and hold the wire and push the wire all the way down into your straw wreath, okay? Now, it may look like we're done, but we are not done. Because, to me, there is nothing that goes with flamingos like hibiscus and plumeria. Now, I have used my steel pick machine and added some steel picks to some of the weaker stems. But this is what the steel picks look like when you put them on your flowers. And I'm just going to take these and put them around the base of my flamingos. And they're kind of going to act like my bow on the bottom of 
my wreath. And remember, same thing, you wanna dig through your petals and stick them right into your straw wreath form. But look how tropical that hibiscus looks there. This plumeria has a really stiff stem, so I'm going to be able to poke it right down into my straw wreath. And this is gonna dress up the bottom of the wreath just perfectly. It won't need a bow at all. Now, if you decided you wanted to add some ribbon, of course you could, but I'm not gonna add any ribbon to this one. And adding the leaves also is a nice contrast to all the pink. Well, I told you we're ready for flamingos by the pool this year. And look how cute this looks on my back door. This is great. I am ready for summer now. How about you? I hope this inspires you. And I look forward to seeing your flamingo reads displayed right here on Home Talk. Have a great summer, everyone. So we're gonna be dealing with this summer sign, and this is a dollar store sign. Not the best quality, but for a dollar, you should be able to get one or two seasons out of it. And I thought it was really cool with the flamingos. So to secure this to our wreath, which I'm going to show you guys in just a second, we're just going to cut off the um, jute wires that come on the top of it, the jute rope. And to secure it, we're going to use some 22 gauge florist wire. This is also known as paddle wire. So I'm just going to cut off a few little lengths. And this is going to be our means of attaching it to our grapevine. So I'm going to feed it into each of the holes. And there's two holes up top. So if you wanted to further secure this more, you can place um, a, a staple on the bottom with an extra piece of wire or a pipe cleaner. But I'm thinking this should hold up just okay. Uh, but we're gonna secure our sign to our wreath now. And we actually did something a little bit different today. We have our wreath right here, but we spray painted it a lime green color. So I'm gonna take our sign and we're gonna place it on one side. I like offsetting my signs, it's a personal preference. Keep in mind when you offset designs, uh, or signs in this case, it always deflects away from the unevenness. So if you don't have a lot of supplies, or if you're working with a few amount of products, or if everything's not positioned perfectly, this is a great way to de uh, deflect from that. 